Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about the dinner that I was at with with Stuart Walton, who's one of the Walton heirs. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you could like this video and also subscribe, that would make the world a difference. I literally try to produce as much content about Northwest Arkansas as humanly possible. Also, if you are thinking about coming down here to check out the whole area, Northwest Arkansas in general, I have a three day itinerary link below. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, I don't know. But there's a three day itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it. All right, so a couple days ago, I went to a actual dinner with Stuart Walton. And if you don't know who Stuart Walton is, he's one of the grandchildren of uh, the actual Sam Walton, Sam Walton. So obviously the Waltons are the richest family in the world. And so it's interesting that they've decided to continue to plant in Northwest Arkansas. So Walmart headquarters, the Waltons, they're here for the long term. JV Hunt Tyson, all the big companies, they're here for the long term. So the last probably 10 years, Tom, it was his brother, Stuart, have been investing just so much into North Arkansas as, as well as Alice, who's part of the Walton family as well. So both three of them have just developed and put so much money and, and thought and energy and time and resources into North Arkansas. And now we're finally at the, the very starting point of actually growth in Northwest Arkansas. So the last 10 years, obviously it's grown exponentially, but what people don't understand is that the infrastructure has been in place. There's been so many things that have been put in place in Northwest Arkansas that were finally at the starting line, ready to grow. And so this event was a dinner uh, hosted um, by the Bentonville Library, but it was kind of a fundraiser to, like for a fundraiser for the library itself. We had, to, we had to pay for tickets and actually get in there for food and it was a great time, but it was a kind of a, probably a closer, like probably maybe maybe a hundred people, maybe 75 people in the room itself, but we're able to sit and kind of like listen to Stuart uh, talk about his future for Bentonville and kind of the whole area. Plus Anthony Soho, which is a executive vice president of uh, Walmart. He's uh, over, I think all of uh, USA, like home office. Anyways, he was there asking questions as well. He's also a transplant from Silicon Valley. So moved from Silicon Valley three years ago to Bentonville and absolutely loves it. So he was asking questions to Stuart. And so we're, not, we're gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of recap what was talked about at that specific event. So the first thing that uh, they actually addressed right away was affordable housing in Northwest Arkansas. I cannot stress enough how big of a deal it is for the Northwest Arkansas Council Walmart, all the big businesses, Bentonville, Fayetteville, everyone in Northwest Arkansas to make sure that housing stays affordable. And so they are moving all the levers possible to make sure that they keep housing affordable in Northwest Arkansas. Because obviously if they don't, then that's gonna be a huge deterrent for the future. So one of the things I'll mention a little bit is just how they've seen other cities grow, like Austin, Portland, Seattle, other bigger cities have grown the last probably 10 years and how they see them kind of fail in a lot of ways. And so what they're trying to do is see those failures and try to avoid them. The interesting thing that Stuart mentioned, which I completely agree with about Northwest Arkansas, is that Northwest Arkansas has time. They're not behind the eight ball. They can see these problems coming at them and they can adjust, like basically adjust accordingly as they need to. And so obviously affordable housing is a big deal in Northwest Arkansas. Housing prices just made it to national average in Northwest Arkansas. So they're trying to make sure that they stay there or below so that people can continue to live, like be here, afford house, live outdoors, indoors, the whole thing, enjoy businesses, enjoy the outdoor section, and actually have a good job as well. So affordable housing is a key factor in here. And that was one of the major things that he talked about was that's a big initiative to make sure that happens for the next like five years. Also, uh, he talked a lot about transportation. Now, one of the big interesting things about Northwest Arkansas, it doesn't have the best public transportation system. Now, the reason is because Northwest Arkansas is a is it's just a, a big spacious area. It's not a tight knit, like tall skyscraper area. There's a lot of miles from Northwest Arkansas. Yards are bigger, things are bigger here. And so the interesting thing is that public transportation just physically doesn't make sense, even when you put it on paper, it just would not make sense. So to solve that problem, rather than spending, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars into infrastructure of buses and everything else, just insane amount of money. What they're trying to do instead, which obviously you can see this now, is every single city is just has a just a plethora of different ways, alternative transportation versus just buses. So that's why there's so many bike paths. That's why there's so many ways you can travel across the city through like sidewalks and everything else. It's easier and better to just invest into the infrastructure of a city with pathways and other means of transportation versus just a large city, like a large public transportation. And so one of the things that Stuart wants to accomplish is the fact that all of Northwest Arkansas might be the only place in America, or the first one at least, to have a full area where you can travel anywhere in the area on bike, 
like a one a, like a one wheel kind of thing, electric scooter, or any sort of other transportation, just versus just using public transportation. So that's one of the things he mentioned was that that's kind of the big goal for the area. Whoa, whoa, before we jump onto the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're using like Realtor.com or Zillow to like look for homes for rent or for sale, and you're quickly realizing, oh my gosh, they're way too slow. Notifications are slow. By the time you actually want to look for it, it's gone. Ugh. So Instant Home Updates are like what the name says, Instant Home Updates. So if you want to make sure that you're on the like the bleeding edge cusp of what's going on in Northwest Arkansas when it comes to homes for rent or for sale, link below, just enter your information, what you're looking for, and I'll set you up right away. You'll never miss a single home for rent or for sale. Also, speaking of bleeding edge, there are so many things happening in Northwest Arkansas. So I made a brand new email that I send out every single Friday, like all the up and coming cool things that are happening here, whether it's a new park here, a new system there, or a new baseball field here, whatever the case is, or new uh, upcoming uh, festival, if you want to be like on the like the the fear of missing out kind of thing, if you're not here at, at the moment, go ahead and sign up for that email because I'm sorry, but you will probably feel like you're missing out. But it will be good to know all the cool things that are happening in Northwest Arkansas. And one of the things he mentioned was about smart growth. NWA wants growth. Northwest Arkansas wants growth. The whole area that we want to grow. But the interesting thing is that we want have we want to have smart growth. And so we don't. And this goes back to the Northwest Arkansas Council about how they're trying to make sure that growth happens. But they want to make sure that it doesn't lose. This is what makes it special. And so the warm culture, everyone being super friendly, so many interesting and fun communities in the area. Like if we, what we want to do is we want to grow smart versus just growth for the sake of growth. And so one of the benefits that we are able to do is look in the past or look at other cities and see how they kind of, you know, had a couple issues there, specifically Austin and Portland and Seattle and New York to some extent, other major cities that grew way too fast. We're looking at those cities and seeing, okay, what do they do and how can we do it different? Because like I said before, we have time on our hands. So one of the things that they're trying to do is just trying to keep growth happening, which is not gonna be a problem because growth isn't slowing down, but to keep that community nice and tight knit in the area. And that's why the, like the Walton Foundation, Bentonville, Fayetteville, all these areas are investing into like a lot of parks, a lot of community centers, a lot of things that just gather people together versus just having them be in their own little areas in their own little apartments doing their own thing. That's why the trail systems are so important. That's why the all new parks are so important. That's why all these things are so important and they're invested into them because they know that if they just kind of forget about those, then the community is just going to be lost. And the last thing he talked about was just opportunity. And this kind of goes hand in hand with what we talked about a little bit, but the opportunity to do things brand new that have never been done before. So one of the things I keep hearing about is how Bentonville and NWA might be the next Austin. And that could be further from the truth. The one thing that NWA is specific about is that it doesn't want to become Austin. It has no intention of becoming Austin. And so what it wants to do is become a better Bentonville, become a better Fayetteville, become a better North of Arkansas. And so they're continuing to double down on the things that make them famous and to and make them so different than other places of America. And so that's why it's so fascinating for them to continue to grow in other areas, whether it's rock climbing or out, more outdoor spaces, more indoor spaces, more businesses, more incubators for small for startups. And so they're trying to be the best that they can be at what they're good at. And so they're not trying to become like they're not trying to become other things They're trying to be the best that they can be and double down on that. And so that's why there's so much opportunity is because they're so laser focused and for a good reason to just not, you know, not be like what we call like the uh, shiny object syndrome in the, in the distance. They want to be what they what they want to become and be the best at it and to draw more people here. And I think it's really admirable because a lot of times you see other cities just grow and they do everything. Like, you know, when you become all things to all people, you become nothing to no one. And so North of Arkansas is very specific to like a certain um, group of people, which are large because a lot of people want to move here. And it's very desirable because it's family oriented, has outdoor trails, has a great outdoor scene altogether, great businesses, great family life, great community. So there's a lot of perks about it. But at the same time, it doesn't want to become some of those other cities because it's it's NWA, it's, it's North of Arkansas. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to North of Arkansas, download my three day itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, I don't know. But there's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you come down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, let's see the next one.